What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, uh, there is a potential pre-proposal talk <laughs> coming soon uh, that Jarvie, so shout out to Jarvie, was discussing in the official Splinterlands Discord. So it's something that he's working on. He wanted to, to take the temperature of the room, and it seems like everybody was, for the most part, um, interested in supporting it. But I just wanted to take a moment to bring it to your attention here and cover why I think it's actually really important. I, I was hoping that the team would do something like this. Granted, it's not that the team isn't doing anything. It's just I, they may not have been taking action yet because they're focused on getting land out in its current form. Uh, so either way, community is taking action. Also, someone awesome like Jarvie is going to go ahead and try to put a pre-proposal together for this so we can start thinking it through. And I want to get your thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, and then I will, I mean, of course, I'll let you know where I stand. I, I'm already in support of it, but let's actually dive into what he said. So question and poll, any information about how land SPS distribution will be changing, including how soon? If there's no incentive to survey, I don't see us leaving land of, uh, I believe it's LOP, until uh, land 1.5, which could be three to four months away, end of Q2. So how would people feel if there's a temporary change to give SPS distribution to only surveyed land, creating an incentive to survey, thus creating an incentive to buy to, to be buying the uh, DEC land packs and creating demand for both DEC and DECB. Now, you know, Jarvie's got a point here and a lot of people who are frustrated are seeing that we're just kind of stuck in this 50, you know, 48, high 40s and 50 range when it comes to land claims. Everybody's waiting to get to the middle part here. And what he's suggesting is that in order to keep on receiving the SPS tokens, uh, SPS airdrop, essentially, that's coming from the land rewards, um, he is saying that it would be, you know, that this proposal would push to only give that out to people who have surveyed their land. Now, none of us have surveyed our lands. People have turned their plots, tracks, and regions into deeds so that they're able to have individual, you know, um, deeds available on specific areas within Praetoria. Um, but we have not been able to survey yet. Surveys, surveying is going to be what ends, uh, what what uh, land phase one kind of finalizes that, and they're saying that that should be out by the end of the month or by the end of the quarter, which is uh, which is March. So at this point, I I think that it's a good move. I am in full support of it. I know that the concern is that people who have large or who are large holders of land may not be in favor because right now they're getting they're getting SPS for doing nothing. So why would they be incentivized to change that where then they would have to go and survey their land, potentially work uh, not work it, but like if you if they want to survey their land with the uh, the land starter packages, they would have to make that move and start to do it now. Um, so that's kind of where things are going. But for me, it's a principle standpoint. People are just getting stuff in the game for holding assets right now. And I'm not really a fan of that. The whole like play to earn. I know play to earn isn't really like the thing anymore, but I still kind of feel like you should be working towards getting those rewards. So any even half steps that we can take, and I wouldn't say that right now is a good enough half step where it's just like you need to claim your land plots. I would say waiting until land phase one, right? So the completion of a phase should be where we are at, should be a point in which the SPS rewards change. So um, once once surveying does become available, well, I do think that you should only be able to get SPS if you have surveyed your land. That is a part of being, you know, being in the land, uh, you know, being in the in it, part of the, the land game, we'll call it right. And then in 1.5, we know that monster staking is going to start. And I would like for once we get to 1.5 or 1.5 is completed for then to that sh for that to then shift to only if you're staking monsters and actually working your land appropriately. Now, I'm not the only one saying this. Uh, there's there's many people in MapChat who are saying it, but I, I just like the idea of like for every incremental step that happens with land, SPS should be given out for people who are doing something, right? Who are working their land or have surveyed their land. And I don't mind that it starts with land phase one. Uh, we don't need to wait until the end. And I don't like, you know, I never really liked the idea of giving land or SPS out just to people for holding assets. It felt very airdroppy. And I thought that we were done with the airdrop. But when the team put this forward as a proposal back in November, uh, you know, it was it was voted overwhelmingly. Yes, I didn't hold much land. But, uh, but again, I... I was against it from a principle standpoint, but I also felt a lot of empathy for 
landholders because it's like man you've been holding this thing for over two years at that point and you just didn't know when it was going to when it was going to uh be available to play so i was like that's fine go ahead this stuff is going to come out anyway once land is live so who cares if we start it like six months early right well i'd rather get that sps out it's not the worst thing in the world well now certain elements of land are actually live compared to where we were in november i mean in fact there's a map you can go in and claim specific deeds within the you know the the lands of Praetoria, and by the end of this month, fingers crossed, you should be able to survey your land to know exactly what kind of land you have. So that to me is significant progress, and I would like uh, I would like to believe that you know once we've once we've crossed that threshold, land or SPS shouldn't be given out just for holding a land plot, right? It should be given out for people who have surveyed their land and have started participating in the game of land itself. So. I am all for this. I hope that there is a proposal for it that comes soon. And it would kind of be in line with where we are expecting uh, because it's going to be a seven-day pre-proposal and then a seven-day actual proposal. So that's two weeks from now. I'm recording this on March 9th. So, you know, 14 days, right? That puts us like March 23rd. Um, that, that puts us very close or in between the third and fourth maintenance windows and potential release dates for when land could actually come out. So I, I'm all for this. I hope that it gets put in, but I would love to know your thoughts. Again, the temperature was being taken on Discord, so I'm kind of extending that here and taking the temperature from folks like... Is there a reason that you are against this? Uh, again, like I'm very much for it, but I want to know. I just again, there's, there's no judgment here, but I, I want to know why you would be against it if you are, and if you're for it, then let me know why you're for it or if you agree with the reasons. But um, that is all I have for you guys in this video. Hopefully, there will be more details on that coming soon when the pre proposal goes live. That is so difficult to say, but um, that's all I have for you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.